Terry, you've got a visitor. Everything all right? Your mum OK, is she? I'd um, like to speak to Terry in private, if you don't mind. <laughs> Why should I mind? I only live here. I've come to tell you to stay out of our lives. You're not wanted. You what? You know what I'm talking about. Viv's asked you to come and work in the post office. That's right, yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised if you suggested it in the first place. I'm not stupid. I know your game. It was your mum's idea, OK? Oh, yeah. And do you want to know why she asked me? Well, it don't take a genius to work it out. Well, what? some of us have got work to do. She asked me because she's lonely. She's vulnerable and she could do with a bit of support. So instead of marching round here and shouting the odds, why don't you go back and give her some help? I'll be watching you. Kelly, get out. Don't look like she's coming. Oh, just go and ask her. You what? Come on, Rob. I can't ask her, not after what my dad did. Well, why do you want to know anyway? I just want to know who she is. Come on, Rob. Hi. Hi. You know we said we'd go to school together today? Yeah, I I'm nearly ready. Okay, can we go on our own? Sure. It's just, I need my car. I've got a dentist appointment this afternoon. Oh, you never said. <laughs> I totally forgot. I haven't even told the head. I'm going to have to do some real grovelling to get the time off. You can handle him. <laughs> I feel such a fool. I should have remembered. Don't worry about it. I'll see you at school. OK. <laughs> what do you want? You're going to school? What does it look like? What's it to you, anyway? I just wondered. I don't know when I'm going back. You better hurry up or you miss the bus. I'm going back to my room. Hi. We need to get a few things straight. This is a bad time for all of us. I don't want us to fall out as well. What exactly are you trying to say, Scott? Can we start again? Where from? From when you kiss me? If you listen to a word I've just said... Look, we need to sort things out. At least get on together. Shouting ain't gonna do any good. Isn't that what most blokes do when they're in the wrong? Shout. What are you talking about? Just leave me alone, will ya? I'm not interested. Hi, it's Chris Tate. 8.45, Wednesday morning. About next week's meeting. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to postpone. Yeah, give us a ring when you get in. Bye. Morning, Laura. Hi. You've made an early start. Is there something I should know about? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm clearing the decks. I've decided to take the whole of next week off. Well, haven't they given you any idea of when you're going to be called as a witness? Yeah, but I want to be there the whole week. I want to be near enough to smell the blood. Oh, Chris. Well, before the fun starts, why don't you give yourself a break? Come and have dinner with me tonight. Well, I don't know. I'm... Chris, what's the alternative? You'll sit at home on your own thinking about the trial. Yeah, you're right. OK, it's a date. Thanks, Laura. Ooh, where's Lisa? Oh, she's had to go to the garage, Dad. Uh, said something about a big end. Oh, heck. she asleep, then? Aye, at long last. I've been up with her all night. I know, I heard you. I've never heard a thing. Hmm? Oh, well, you'll be feeling full of beans this morning, then. Feel OK, yeah? Good. I've a little favour to ask you. What? Hey, look at her. Hey, bless her. Ah, she'll, uh, 
Should probably sleep all morning now, you know, making up for lost time. <laughs> Dad, I'm not babysitting for you. Oh, come on, Butch. Just for a couple of hours. I've got to go into one. To see a man about an horse? What do you say, Butch? Is a pint in it for you? I'm helping Seth today, Dad. Well, he won't mind. He'll understand, will Seth? Two pints. And a pint for Seth. And you can have his. I'm sorry, Dad. Butch, she's your own flesh and blood. Don't waste your breath. Oh, thank you, my dear. That's OK. Granddad. Yeah? I've got a big favour to ask you. Well? Do you think you could do without me tonight? Well, you're not going out again. No, it wasn't my idea. It was Paddy's. He wants to go clubbing. I think he's a bit lonely at the moment, and I couldn't say no. This has been happening a bit too often lately. You are supposed to work here. I know, and I'll make it up to you. This will be the last time, I promise. But it's not just the work. I mean, when everybody's gone and we're closed, it's the one chance we have to have a chat, just the two of us. It means a lot to me. And to me, and we'll do it again lots of times. I'm just helping out a friend who's going through a bad patch. All right. I suppose Mandy and I can cope. Actually, Grinda, that's another thing. What? Mandy, I'd rather you didn't tell her about me and Paddy going out. Well, I'd hate her to get the wrong idea, and I don't want her to get upset over nothing. That doesn't make sense to me, Lynn. So you've decided it's time to really concentrate on your A-levels. And you want to start by doing one of your mocks, yeah? Yeah, right. And you're taking a job at the vets. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must be missing something. Uh, can I get you anything else? Well, uh, all I have to do is answer a few phone calls. The rest of the time I can just do my revision. <sighs> what about you, Will? A coffee? Stack of waffles? Mmm. <laughs> Are you working on a bonus scheme or something? I just want to make sure you get everything you need. I'd bet me off. Oh. Yeah, see you. Hey, oh. hope you're not working too hard, Petal. Oh, what are you playing at? You scared me half to death. We've just come to brighten up your life. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking, and uh, well, I realise I've been a bit selfish, keeping Bella all to myself. I thought you'd like to spend a bit of quality time with her. No, for a couple of hours, like. I'm going to be down that pit covered in oil. Yeah, but she'll be closer down, won't she? You can commune with each other. You know, Zach, I had my doubts when you said you'd look after her, but I thought you'd last more than 24 hours. Don't get me wrong, Liz, love. I'm not saying I don't want to look after her. It's just that I need to get into one, that's all. Fair's fair. No. Oh, Lisa. Never mind, oh, Lisa. She's your responsibility, that's what we agreed. Now, out my way, I've got work to do. Bye, love. Well, I've given him his lunch. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Have you got a minute, Zoe? Mm. Uh, I was just going. Dad. Come on. Bye. I've got Chris coming over for dinner tonight. I've already cooked him pasta. Have you got any ideas? <laughs> I'd recommend something with cyanide in it. I wasn't talking to you, Kim. Oh, believe me, I've got your best interests at heart, Laura. I need to save you having to think of a pudding. It is good of you to offer advice, Kim. I mean, you won't have to worry about dinner parties where you're going, will you? I got your letter. Well, thanks for coming. I didn't know if you would. I don't know what you want to say, but it better be good. You said in your letter that it had to be me. That I was the only one that you could turn to. It's true. We've known each other a long time, Rachel. You know me better than anyone. You understand me. I might have done once. You said you needed me. I mean, why? I want to put my side of the story. <laughs> I thought that was what the trial was all about. I don't stand a chance, Rachel. You're guilty, aren't you? 
I admit I've done some terrible things. I lost your money, and I'm really, really sorry about that. I stole the horse, but I didn't try to kill Kathy. She must have thought that you did. How can she possibly know whether I intended to kill her? I was driving the car, but I didn't see her till it was too late. I couldn't avoid her. Look, you know me, Rachel. You know I couldn't do a thing like that. I need you to believe me, Rachel. Please. Um, your main duties are answering the phone, organising appointments and ordering supplies. You soon get the hang of it. There is one thing that worries me. What's that? I know you're studying for your A-levels. Are you sure you can do that and take on this job? Yeah. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could handle it. And I'm hoping this job will help me. In what way? Well, I'm planning to go to agricultural college, so this will be a really good experience. It will be. In fact, once you've settled in a bit, uh, you can come out with me and Zoe on around. Oh, that'd be brilliant. I think my partner wants you to have the job. No, I know Kelly had her own inimitable style, but you'll just bring so much more charm and enthusiasm and a brain. Uh, thank you, Paddy, that's enough. Can you start now? Yeah, sure. Great. We both have calls to make, but we'll be back for surgery. If anything crops up that you're not sure about, call us on our mobiles. The numbers are on there. Thanks. Right, we'll leave you to it. Let's say I believe you. I'm not saying that I do. But what exactly do you want from me? I just need to know there's somebody out there who believes in me. It makes such a difference. I feel so alone in here. I can imagine. If I knew you were out there on my side, you could start to set the record straight. Wow. You know who's really to blame for what happened to Kathy? It's Kim. I came to talk about you, Steve, not her. But it makes me sick to think of her out there free while I'm rotting away in here. Now, wait a minute. I mean, what's she doing anyway? Swanning around the village playing the wrong woman? Tell me. That's why you got me here, isn't it? You don't need my help at all. She'll get what's coming to her at the trial. You'll see. If I'm going down, I'm going to take her with me. I'm sorry, but I'm not prepared to listen to this. If you're not prepared to listen to this, why did you bother coming? Because I was curious, I suppose. I thought you really needed my help. But you just wanted to use me to find out about Kim. This should be nicely chilled. We'll have the starter in a minute. Let's have a drink first. Good idea. Cheers. The future? I'll drink to that. I've been giving it a lot of thought lately. Yeah, me too. I've got a few decisions to make. My home farm's been sold. My work here's almost finished. I may have to leave the village before too much longer. Well, I don't want to. In fact, I, I'd really like to stay. You know what really excites me about the future? What's that? The fact Kim will be in prison. Oh, Chris. Yes, don't worry. I'm not going to be all heavy. In fact, uh, I want to play a little game. Well, that sounds interesting. Why don't we have our own mock trial? Well, you can do all the legal parts. I'll get the soup. I've thought about it, Viv. I'm not going to move in. I'll help you out as much as I can, but uh, not full time. It wouldn't be a good idea. Yes, it would. It'd be a much better job than your one in Harrogate. The job's OK. The place is a bit of a dump. And it means travelling, working nights. You'd be much happier working here in the village. Well, it's bar work. It's what I do. Oh, working with you full-time, it would cause too many problems. Kelly came round to see me this morning, warned me off. But that's not why you're saying no. No, no, I'd made my decision before she came round. If only she could see things from my point of view just once. That's not too much to ask, is it? No, of course not. You're a good friend, Terry. Oh, no. <laughs> but you've got to sort things out with your kids. How? Well, you should do something together. Go for a meal. Anything. 
I'd be wondering what Kelly was going to put in my food. Oh, what about Donna? Why don't you take her to pictures? Get her out of the house. They do you both good. That's not a bad idea. Thanks. It's okay. So here you are sorting out all my problems. And your life isn't exactly a bed of roses, is it? Well, it could be worse. I've got a job. A crummy job. But it'll do till something better comes along. And it will. It's bound to. OK, let's say for argument's sake that I'm Kim. It's a pretty horrendous prospect, but never mind. I've made a chocolate pudding. Would you like some? Uh, no, thanks. So I'm Kim, and you're my barrister. But you know I'm not a barrister. Oh, please, Laura, just indulge me a little bit longer. How would you defend me? I want to get inside the mind of the enemy. Well, I don't know all the facts of the case, but I suppose I'd present you as a, a wronged woman, manipulated by your husband, a, a man you trusted. Yes, you get me to simper, flutter my eyelashes at the jury. Did you see that devious bitch doing that? Yes, that sort of thing. And I'd set it to destroy Steve's reputation. Well, that won't be hard. But it won't work, surely. I mean, she's obviously guilty as hell. They'll see her for what she is. They must. Chris, that's enough. I'm supposed to be off duty. Now, why don't we have some coffee? And I've got a rather special malt whiskey I think you'll like. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to go. What? I'm taking Cathy to the cinema. But thanks for a super meal. But most of all, thanks for letting me pick that legal brain of yours. It's been really useful. Hmm. Don't mention it. I thought you'd be ready by now. You know, we're meeting Paddy and Trisha at the Woolpack. Actually, Graham, um... I don't feel much like going to a nightclub tonight. Do you mind? No, you were the one who was keen to go. Did you have a bad time at the dentist? Yeah. No, I didn't even go to the dentist. And did you get the appointment mixed up? I never made an appointment. <laughs> Rachel, you're not making sense. What is it? I went to see Steve in the remand centre. What on earth for? He wrote to me. He begged me to go. He said he had to talk to me. We, we go back a long way. He said I was the only one he could turn to. So what? You don't owe him anything. He lost your money and he tried to kill Cathy. Yeah, I know. I know all of that. I shouldn't have gone. It was a really big mistake. All he did was rant on about Kim all the time. He just sounded so desperate. You don't mind too much, do you? I don't mind you going, but why didn't you tell me? You lied to me. I'm sorry. I thought we were getting to the point where we could be honest and open with each other. We are. And I should have told you. <laughs> I, I don't know why I didn't. Perhaps it was just the shock at getting the letter. Where are you going? Well, I, I'd better tell Paddy there's been a change of plan. Do you want me to come with you? No, don't bother. I'll just stay for one drink and then I'll go home. I've got a pile of marking to do. Hey. I haven't got time, Marlon. Chris will be here any minute. That's a shame. It was meant to be a bribe. I'm very persistent. Oh, no, not the trial just again. hear me out one more time, please. I'm not going to change my mind. Well, you made it very clear you can never see me grace in the alloyed portals of the Old Bailey. No, not unless you wind up in the dock. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the path of righteousness for me, Cathy. You know, I said I read about the case. Yes. You realise that the whole outcome of the trial rests on your testimony? Hardly. Steve's confessed. But he denies running you over deliberately. He did. I saw him. Well, you say he did. He says he didn't. But who will the jury believe? That's the question. Uh, i Chris. Well, just, just, just let me finish. Right. If they believe you, it's attempted murder. He could get, what, 15 years? If they believe him, it's dangerous driving. And even with a sentence for theft, he could be out in a year. It's a big difference. Yeah, it is. Are you sure you don't mind finishing off, Scott? No, I'll cash up and do the shelves. Go on, off you go. Oh, thanks. We really appreciate it. Don't we, Donna? Yeah. We won't be late. You might like to know that Terry's turned me down, so he won't be working here. All right. 
I think that's for the best, don't you? And you might like to tell her ladyship. It'll make her day. Tell me what? Terry, he's not moving in. I'm not surprised. I can do better than a sad old cow like you. Now, don't speak to me like that, young lady. Nick, stop it, both of you. It just makes things worse. Now, off you go. Where are they off to? Pictures. Oh. And what about me? You wouldn't have gone. Well, she could have asked me. Look, Gilly, can you give it a rest? I know what Mum's like. She gets on my nerves too, but... Well, you know what she's been through. Give her a chance, eh? She don't deserve one, the way she's behaved. I've had enough. No one can do anything right for you. You, you accuse me of getting off with you, so I say sorry. I, I try and reason with you. I shout at you. None of it makes any difference. Yeah, well, you can do it. I've had enough. Scott, I'm sorry. <sighs> Cheers, Arthur. Oh, Trisha won't be long. She's just getting ready. I won't bother with the drink, then. I would be grateful if you weren't too late tonight. It's not good for Trisha to have all these late nights. Alan, she's a big girl now. I, I can't tell her what to do. Well, you're a professional man. I expect you to be responsible. Where's Rachel? Sorry, we're not coming. It's just me and Trisha. Yeah, you want to be careful, people are talking. Well, there's nothing going on between me and Trisha, you know. <laughs> so what? That's what Rachel and I used to say. Wow. Do you mind if we go out the back way? Now? Whatever turns you up. I'll see you later, Grandad. <laughs> what was all that about? Trisha doesn't want Mandy to know that she's gone out with Paddy. I see. It's not a good idea trying to keep things secret. Oh, sorry I'm late, Al. I dozed off after my tea. You've not given Trisha the night off again. Locked up. Who was that? Hey, mate. He wasn't in. I was going to ask if I could stay for a few days. What? But you can't. You can't leave. And why not? This place is doing my head in. If you go, everything will fall apart. We need you, Scott. Yeah, and you've got a funny way of showing him. It's true. There's only you that's keeping us all together. Please, Scott. Don't go. Please. For the family. The family? Yeah. All right. All right, I'll stay for now. 